So begins the craziness of high school basketball. These two programs have been the cream of the crop in the girls' city league here in Boston. Always fun to see the future of Boston basketball. Boy going to work. Somehow oh. gets it to go and the foul. Jordan off the up thing. That's the kind of control finish you want to have. Aiden from way downtown. Yeah, right. Big play to follow up that push. The Tech Boston Bears have won back-to-back -back championship in 2019. Hello, Boston, and welcome to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester as the two top teams in the Boston North square off for the second time this season. Tonight, the Tech Boston Bears are taking on the Latin Academy Dragons. Hello everybody, I'm Pat Flaherty, joined by my partner as always, Alan Platt. Alan, you know, the last couple of seasons, Tech Boston's clearly been the best team in the Boston City League. They got two city championships and two state titles. We've been kind of waiting for that next team to kind of come about. And all of a sudden, Latin Academy, who was young last year, Coach Bunker said he's excited for what the future holds for that team over the next couple of seasons. That future's been sped up a little bit. Oh. Latin Academy's been very good this season, coming in at 11-2 and two on the year. 11-2 and two has been amazing. And like you said, young players grew up really quick. That's I right. mean, the spring and the summer, for some reason, the kids stayed with the program, clearly listened to what Coach Bunker was teaching him. Uh, did their skills and drills, and here they are, one of the top teams in the city. And this is the kind of uh, matchup they really want. They're, these two teams played earlier this season, the three-point game, so this one very well may be tight just like that. No question. The last one is at Tech Boston, three-point lead for the Tech Boston Bears in that one, or three-point win, rather, for Tech Boston in that game. This time around, we think it's going to be close again yeah. with Latin Academy being the home team. For the Latin Academy Dragons, a lot of players we could talk about, a very deep team, but one player that was sort of an x factor from the last game, despite the loss, was the big center Osasu Wolgarin, just a sophomore for the Dragons. Well, he's young, one of the young players we talked about who's really developed since his freshman year. Size is the first thing you notice, but he's very athletic. Uh, he gets points and rebounds, double-digit points and rebounds, which is really impressive for a sophomore player. Now, one of the things about Tech Boston is they've never, even during this two, two and a half year run, they've never had a lot of size. So, Wolgarin is very key for Latin Academy, if he can stay out of foul trouble, he's going to be an impact on both offensive and defensive rebounding. No question. And of course, Tech Boston over the last couple of seasons and this year have not had a lot of height. So if you got a big guy who can get up and down the floor against Tech Boston, that might spell trouble for the Bears. We'll see how that shakes out during this game. Meanwhile, on the other side for Tech Boston, they've had a couple of guys over the last few years that have carried the state championship and city championship teams. A few have graduated, but a few are still here. Hard to believe, Shamar Browder, one of those players, he's been outstanding for Tech Boston, really for four years. Well, you, like you said, a few years, and that's exactly true. He played as a freshman, got some time, but he was a starter as a sophomore, and junior is his third year starting. He's, they always talk about a, a battery or a key to, to your motor. He's the one That's for right. Tech Boston, uh, both offensively and defensively. When they run into, they go into their half court or full court uh, types of zones, he's usually at the head of the zone with those quick hands, uh, looking to get deflections, get steals, and get easy layups. His quickness and his speed uh, more than make up for his lack of, of height. That's right, just about 5'7", five, 5'6", five, for Shamar Prada, but like you mentioned, lightning quick and strong. You know, when he gets around the rim, he can finish for this Tech Boston team. Oh, he, he gets the free throw oh, line. He, he doesn't mind contact at all, whether it's a big guy or a small guy, whoever. He knows that he wants to get to the hoop, and that, that's been their calling card. Size has never been an issue uh, during this run. And again, like you said, not just two city championships, two state championships, that's right. Division II. That's so right. that, that's, that's a big deal to go back to back as you're losing players to graduation. No question. Coach Williams always seems to figure out a way around that height disadvantage for the Tech Boston Bears. Now, for more on this game, we're going to go to our sideline reporter, Leverett Ball, who's got an update for us. Leverett, what do you have? Thanks, guys. So, as you know, Tech Boston began this season coming off of back to back state titles. Now, I actually talked with Tech senior Alan Nunez a little earlier, and I asked him, you know, is it ever hard for the team to stay focused and motivated with all the success they've had? He told me absolutely not. He said this team has a lot of upperclassmen who want to end their careers the right way, and they also want to, you know, set a standard with their program for younger players who haven't been called up to varsity yet and really get a tradition of excellence going. So don't expect them to take it easy tonight. Expect a lot of intensity right out of the gate. Back to you. Lever, thanks very much. It's, it is a very interesting dynamic when you've won that much. You know, 
how do you keep your team motivated after winning a couple of state championships? Well, the key is you have at least a couple of guys, just like we said with Browder and Nunez, right. who've been, been involved uh, in all that winning. They're the ones who are going to teach the younger players what it takes uh, to be successful. Starters for Tech Boston, it's Nunez, Browder, Brown, Barnes, and Norman. And also for the Latin Academy Dragons, Lawson, Santos, Stuppard, Ali, and Will Garrett. Just one senior there, and Nemo Stuppard, the starting small forward. Like we said, the two teams played earlier, and three-point win for no, Tech Boston. Quick change to starting lineup. Jaquan Stroud now in there at center for Tech Boston. He does bring a little bit of height to this Bears team, along with Chris Norman, who's more of a wing player. Latin Academy controls the opening tap. They're in the all-white uniforms with the black trim. Tech Boston, black uniforms with the red trim. Well, Garen couldn't handle the pass underneath, and here comes Crowder in the open floor. Both these teams lightning quick to see how quickly they move up and down. And we all talk about adrenaline early. That's what we're seeing. A lead of the basket, and he couldn't get the hoop, but he will go to the free throw line. Nice drive from the wing. I'm sure Coach Bunker likes to see that. Make a move before the, the quickness of Tech Boston can try to double team the ball. You see a body block in two free throws. One of the biggest crowds we've ever seen here at, at uh, Latin Academy. Man, it's absolutely packed here at Latin Academy High School. It's Coach Dan Bunker. I believe it's his 14th season with Latin Academy. Hard to believe. Ali knocks down both free throws for the Dragons. Okay, now that, that change in the starting lineup, Pat, has them going into like a, like a matchup 2-3 zone. Norman corner three off the mark. Rebound comes down to Mason Lawson. Ali almost lost it out of bounds, and Norman picks up the loose ball. Academy trying to stay in a basic 2-3 zone. Three-pointer goes down. So uh, Elliot Williams. Gives Tech Boston a one-point lead here with a minute and a half gone by in the first quarter. Shot no good that time from Lawson. Stroud with the corner three attempt, no good. Well, Garen comes away with a rebound for Latin Academy. Lawson gets the ball swiped away by Browder. Jamar gets the basket and the foul. I don't know how that one well, went in. Up and under. He, he, he sized up the defenders going at him, so we knew he had to go under the basket. Watch, he uses the rim to prevent the block shot. Takes the bump and still is able to spin the ball in. You're going to see it again. All the missed shots have been long past. You can tell the adrenaline is flowing. Oh, no question. You get, you get excited like that for the first few minutes before you can catch your breath. Three-point lead for Tech Boston. Two minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Another turnover by the Dragons. Nunez now on the other end. Can't finish the layup. Rebound comes down to Ali. Here comes Mason Lawson. Dumps it down inside to Woe Garen for the easy number. two. Big sophomore is running the floor like you mentioned in the opener. If he can keep, keep that going, that'll be a real test for, uh, for, that, for Tech Boston. Nunez fires up a three off the back iron. Here comes Lawson. He's got a five on two. Heck of a defensive play with Will Garens right there. Kisses it off the glass in Latin Academy as a one-point lead. Tough break to Quan Stroud. Actually made a, a hustle save there, but unfortunately for him, saved it out right under the Latin Academy basket. Norman inside. 
Can't finish the up and under. Tap in no good from Stroud. Or Darren with the rebound. Lawson. Look at the Florida. Stuffered for the layup. Well, both teams would prefer to fast break. We want to keep it a quick, hectic pace. This side, the rebounding edge to Latin Academy right now has them with this small three-point lead. Off the up fake, Williams inside, can't finish the layup. Well, Darren comes away with the rebound for the Dragons. Yano Santos looking for an opening. Santos to the basket. He's going to get two more free throws. Again, that's that man-to-man -man pressure defense in the half court. Makes it difficult. There you go, Santos able to attack from that, that wing. Matter of fact, Latin Academy is about to get a lot bigger. So it, it, they're going to bring in the, uh, the big freshman, Brennan Shapiro. Santos knocks down the first. As you mentioned, Shapiro coming in like for like 6'5", isn't he? Yeah. I talked to Coach Bunker earlier in the week, and he said that uh, Shapiro is all of 6'5". Well, that's, yeah. It's a very big center for Latin Academy. He comes away with the offensive rebound. Santos trying to get it inside to Shapiro, knocked out of bounds. He's going to stay with the Dragons. Yeah, Shapiro makes, makes an impact with his size already, getting an offensive rebound off a missed free throw. Trying to get it into Mason Lawson, and here comes Browder back down the other end. Gets it to go. Stops a 7-0 run there for Latin Academy with just over four minutes gone by. Okay, the shot clock is not an issue in this game. Three ball off the mark that time from Abdullahi Aiden. Shapiro can't hit that, gets his own rebound, and he's going to get two free throws. I tell you, 6-5, you're right, Pat. And Bunker, Bunker was being honest with you. A lot of times, we, a lot of coaches and players like to play around with sizes, right. but this freshman is huge. <laughs> Shapiro can't hit the first. Right now, Latin Academy with a 9-2. Rebounding advantage over Tech Boston. I'll tell you, uh, Shapiro's got to be a little, little nervous. I mean, he played JV as a se seventh and eighth grader. That's right. So here he is, a freshman getting kicked up to now. He's, he's, he's looking forward to having a great season in JV. That's right. And Danny Bunker calls him up and says, Look, you're staying up here. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Knocks down the second free throw. So Latin Academy now with a three point lead here. 322 left to go in the first quarter. Yeah, making that free throw will settle him down a little bit. Nice hesitation move from Nunez, who kisses it off the window. A little hesitation in the lane. Alan Nunez has done that for the last three seasons. Santos. Now to Stupper. Nemo inside. Nice finish. Gets the finish. Nice finish. He switched hands as he went up to get away from the defense. Swing to Norman. He can't get the three to go. Somehow Browder gets the putback. Smallest guy in the floor. We talked about that in the open. He's always knows how to use his body, knows how to box out on both the defensive and offensive boards. Gets pushbacks like that. One point ball game, just under two and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Lawson almost loses it. Then gets it poked away. Norman quickly up to Williams. Tech Boston three games the lead. Despite the size situation, Tech Boston still remains comfortable going straight man to man. Aiden, nowhere to go with it. Lost it. Off the hesitation move. Norman with a rebound for Tech Boston. They're going to call it travel on Chris Norman. A little bit of contact is going up to that rebound, but Fisher felt that Norman had full control. Well, Garen back in for Latin Academy. Benny Martinez coming in for the first time for the Dragons as well. Well, Garen off the nice inbound. Yeah. 
That's, that's that. When you have a sophomore who can cut right to the basket, go in the air, catch it, and then tip it home, you got lots of work with. <laughs> so, Latin Academy, like you, like you mentioned, Pat, they are ahead of schedule in terms of the young players developing. Louder can't hit the jumper from the free throw line, so back comes Latin Academy, one point lead. Crowder always just in the face oh, of the ball. Okay. Most teams don't, when, they, when, they're, when Latin Academy, when Tech Boss is in this man's man, it's a pressure man's man, most teams will take the ball out of the guard's hand who he's, who he's covering. Lawson out, Santos from the point for Latin Academy, moves it, but Williams stepped out of bounds, so that's going to stay with the Dragons. Coming up on a minute left to go here in the quarter, and now we've got to talk about it. Well, the, the, the clock here at Latin Academy, for some reason, it's, it's, uh, it's resetting itself, uh, it's correcting itself, but like, like right now, the, the lights are they're just on, and they're, now, now it's going back to the 104 time. I think we sort of threw off the official wing when right. we looked up and, and couldn't see anything. It was legible. It looks like hieroglyphics up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actual second. I mean, we've seen a, a few missing balls, and that was, right. a, that was like a different language. <laughs> Under a minute to go now. Ali off the spin move, can't convert. Martinez with the rebound, Lawson, Aiden for three. Well, Darren comes away with it. Can't convert underneath. The energy level in this first quarter, that was amazing. Norman on the drive, got bumped inside the paint. And now we have Latin Academy in man to man. Quarter three, off the back iron. Rebound that time for Tech Boston. Nunez now with it, five seconds left in the quarter. You know, when you talk about Tech Boston's back-to-back -back state championships, even with uh, not a lot of size, it's because they hustle so much on both ends of the floor, getting loose balls. Williams gets it sliced away. Mason Lawson can't get the shot off before the buzzer. Roller coaster ride for just the first quarter here at Latin Academy in Dorchester. Dragons with a one point lead over Tech Boston. We'll be right back for the second quarter here on Game of the Week. Right after these messages, do not go away. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for Game of the Week. Dragons leading the Tech Boston Bears 14 to 13. Before we get going here in the second quarter, no, no, we're just going to get going here in the second quarter as Tech Boston trailing by one. They'll start off with the basketball and the up and down pace here. To start off the game has been amazing. Yeah, the clock, the clock reset itself. So the buzzer went off as it went to zeros to reset. So now we got right eight minutes. We'll just start over with another inbound. Norman on the drive, couldn't convert. Good rebound inside from Mason Lawson. Harassed immediately as Crowder gets the steal. Yeah. Norman took a couple extra steps. Yeah, Norman actually had a poke steal with that's a Crowder, but then he got the ball back. Good defense by Latin Academy forced to try. Lost 
Dawson. Ali for three, gets fouled. He's gonna get three free throws. We saw him last year. Uh, one difference right now, he's getting that shot a lot quicker. Our sideline reporter, Leverett Ball, has an update for us. Love, what do you have? So guys, Latin Academy's first player off the bench this evening was Ab uh, Abdullahi Aiden, number two. He's actually the team's leading scorer this season, despite not being a regular in the starting lineup. And the best part of his game is his ability to shoot from outside. So look for him to take a lot of threes this evening. He actually has two 20-point games this season heading into uh, this evening's matchup. And it's, it's not often when you see a team's most dangerous offensive player not starting. But that is the case um, with Aiden, as I mentioned, almost never starts. Back to you. Thanks very much, Leverett. Good point by him. Abdullahi Aiden, the team's leading scorer, but he comes off the bench for Latin Academy. That's how deep they are this season. Very deep, very deep. And, and he stood off a close bunker because, like you said, a few of these players were really young last year. Almost a steal for Will Darren, and Norman is finally able to squeeze home his first bucket. He's actually a key guy for them, along with the product. Norman last year in the state tournament going against much bigger schools and really holding his own. Ali for three off the back iron. Well, Darren comes away with the loose ball, but it's swiped away by Keyshawn Barnes. Jim Butler now in for Tech Boston. Router got a shot blocked inside by Wolgarin. Latin Academy with a three on two. Wolgarin couldn't collect it, so that's going to go back to the Bears. Got a little too anxious as he, he knew the ball was coming and he knew he was right under the hoop, but couldn't quite collect it. Well, this pace is forcing both coaches uh, to go to their benches just to, just to keep fresh legs out there. That one to go. Offensive rebound inside. That's Strauss. Yeah, that's going to stay with Latin Academy. All right, excuse me, with Tech Boston. Tech Boston. Router. Good pump fake that time to be able to let the defender go by and still finish the layup. Two point game. Need for Tech Boston. Aiden off balance three couldn't get that to go. Santos there for the putback. Good hustle to get to the offensive glass. Just didn't get boxed out. Tied up at 17, five and a half left to go here in the second quarter. Stroud, top of the key, can't hit the three-pointer. Neither team very successful from the outside. They're all, they're all over anxious. Aiden again, can't knock that one down. It's more of the same. Router oh, somehow nice is able to catch that ball. Knocked out of bounds off of Shamar. Substitution for Latin Academy coming back in is Shapiro and Benny Martinez. And Coach Bunker wants a timeout. Here with under six minutes left to go in the second quarter. Tied up at 17. And There's just like so much happening, now, Pat. There's just so much going on. That, that, that some of these shots that, that I think normally without this, without this frantic pace, you know, right. these guys would drop these shots. So the coach is just trying to get them to settle down. I think Danny Bunker's going to bring the big freshman back in. Probably wants to wants to have a, a, a post play for him. No question. We'll see how that shapes out out of the timeout. Folks, you want to follow us on social media, you can go to our Facebook page. Go to Facebook.com slash Game of the Week Boston. A lot of good stuff up on that site. Make sure you like us there. You can also follow us on Twitter at Boston City TV. And if you want to tweet at us, use the hashtag Boston G O W. As you mentioned, Alan, though, this game. The pace of this game, typical Tech Boston. We've oh, seen definitely. this for seasons from, from this, they forced this program. Right. So this is exactly how they want to play it. 
Latin Academy's got a lot of athleticism too, but I don't know if they see, quite want the well, pace to take but, Foster. But the fact that they, they're going, he's going so deep. Bunker's going so deep into his bench. He can he can actually challenge that pace and. Tech Boston, quite frankly, is not used to having a lot of teams go head-to-head -head with, with fast-break basketball. But I think Latin Academy, tonight, for whatever reason, uh, feels that they, they can hold their own. Latin Academy right now with a free throw advantage. They're 5 for 7 from the line. Or Latin, or Tech Boston just 0 for 1 from the free throw line. Good block inside there from Latin Academy. Lawson pulls up for three. Here comes Browder. Gets it swatted out of bounds that time. Mason Lawson with the rejection. Well, I'll tell you, the, both teams are defending really well without any problem. A lot of block shots, a lot of deflections. Lawson going to get a breather here for Latin Academy. Barnes inside, can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Ali. Santos now bringing it up for the Dragons. And it's thrown away by Browder. Shamar, all the way to the rim, couldn't get it to fall. A little too much spin on that one. Tough break for Browder. Martinez gets it stolen away by Norman. Norman gets it poked away. Browder coming up with the loose ball. Converts inside for Tech Boston. Browder makes a lot of tough shots going to the basket. More of the same tonight. Browder now with eight points to lead all scores. Santos pulling up. Shot might have been deflected. Shapiro trying to save it. Pass inside, block inside. Put back does fall for Rakim Butler. Hmm. Couple more subs now for Latin Academy. Bears now with a four point lead here with 3.14 left to go in the second quarter. This, this is the type of game. Four point lead is considered a big lead. Right? <laughs> it's usually been one or two. It's the kind of game where both coaches are figuring, well, it'll just take a little few more minutes before we start making some shots. This hasn't really happened yet, because both these teams shoot well normally. I mean, you're talking about Latin Academy coming in 11 to two, and even even though Tech Boston had that big losing streak snaps, they're seven and three. That's right. All right, and lost a couple of t uh, close games, Coach yeah. Williams. Just recently, they lost two yeah. games in a row to two very good teams in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Cambridge is big this year. They're very big. You mentioned the height for Tech Boston as Ali scores go. over the top. See, we really didn't see him do that last year. So you talk about development, you're adding things to, you know, to, to your skill set. Corner three is rattled home that time for the Bears. That's Andy Mendez connected from long distance. Well, you have a senior can come off the bench and hit a three for you. Always helps the cause. Extends the Tech Boston lead to five. Lawson on his way to the rim. Gets Mendez again, away. nice job. Norman up to Browder, back to Norman. And he got fouled. Norman sort of got caught underneath the he did. hoop. I wonder if, uh, if he they left know. him alone. He would, if he left, they left him alone, he had nowhere to go. You're right, watch the replay. By the time he gathers it, he's way under, but he gets hit. Clear foul for Aaron's just two free throws. I believe that foul was on Muhammad Ali. Norman knocks down the first. First free throw made for the Bears. Stufford coming back in for Latin Academy as Benny Martinez heads to the bench. Yeah, Prada will get his first break too. Knocks down both, and Chris Norman will head to the bench as it's 
Jaquan Stroud back in now for Tech Boss, and just over two minutes left to go in the second quarter. Seven point lead for the Bears. Tech Boss has had a nice little run here midway through the second quarter. 8 0 run now for the Bears. And did it the typical way defense, deflections, those are free throws. Good swing for Latin Academy. Three doesn't fall. Will Garen there for the putback? A long sophomore who hustles. Hey, that's a basketball coach's dream. <laughs> Stroud coming back, rattling home a three for Tech Boston. Extends the lead to eight here with a minute and a half left before halftime. Lawson can't get the off balance shot to go. Corner three, well off the mark there for the Bears. Now we saw Andy Mendes come in and hit one of those from that same spot. So he hustled there, got open, just didn't let it go with his, with his regular stroke. Aiden into a wide open Stufford, and Nemo's going to get two free throws. I think this eight point lead for Tech Boston is more result of the fact that they, they've kept their pace up. Meanwhile, we've seen Latin Academy slow down a couple of steps. We've also seen the Bears knock down a couple of threes. It always helps. And like I said, Coach Williams, I know, was just thinking, okay, any minute, any minute. <laughs> Those open shots that we always work for, some of them have got to fall. Yeah, meanwhile, for Latin Academy, Abdullahi Aiden, who's probably their leading scorer, is a lights-out three-point shooter. He had six threes against Durfee earlier in the season. Hasn't had a clean look yet. Well, and that's the key. I mean, that's one of the things about Tech, Tech Boston. That, like I said, we, they, these two teams played earlier. And just in general, the coaches are familiar with each other. Well, Garen hits the short jumper that time. to cut the lead back down to five. He talks about the game. He has 17 points and 16 rebounds. You can see why. He's just so active with those long arms under the basket. We get an offensive foul on Jaquan Stroud. Got a little push in the back. Okay, Norman's coming back for Tech Boston along with uh, Keyshawn Barnes. Yeah, with 40 seconds left, Coach Williams try, not trying to take any chances here. He's got the five point lead, doesn't want that to shrink even more. Exactly, definitely. So that was a foul. So now, Latin Academy in the bonus. Lawson can't hit the front end of the one and one. Nunez inside. Lawson, Aiden now with an open look. Can't hit the three. Get it to his own offensive rebound. Oh, stuffed nice by Chris Norman. Good. Defense by Norman. Saw that shot coming. 19 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Well, Garen scores inside for Latin Academy. Final 10 seconds. Three point lead for Tech Boston. Three seconds left before halftime. Corner three from Nunez, well off the mark. Heck of a first half here at Latin Academy in Dorchester. Right now the Tech Boston Bears lead the Latin Academy Dragons 29-26. And boy, up and down action in every sense of the word there for both these teams. We saw both of them do it on the fast break. At their break. strengths, at their strengths, yeah. No question. It's funny, I'm thinking about when you look at the schedule, preseason, getting our schedule together, you looked at that one and said, oh, Latin Academy, and Tech. probably you want to take Boston, but you know, you, you think, oh, wait a minute, Latin Academy's off to a good start. Right. Now you can circle it and say, this is gonna be a nice matchup. No and question. This is exactly what we have. I mean, you're talking about 11 and two team and a seven and three team, and that seven and three is very deceiving That's because, right. as we know, Tech Boston is a much better than a seven and three record. No question. Our sideline reporter, Leverett Ball, has got one of the coaches over on the sideline right now. So, Leverett, take it away. Coach, first off, a close game going into halftime. Uh, how do you feel about your team's performance thus far? I thought the, the effort's good. Um, I just think we need to take care of the ball better. I think we had some careless turnovers, live turnovers that turned into their points. So if we can limit that, I think we'll be in really good shape. 
And obviously you're going up against a tough opponent this evening, um, you know, Tech Boston, you know, coming off the back-to-back -back state titles. Is there any added motivation to beat them because of the success they've had and to prove that you can knock off top teams? Yeah, of course there is. I mean, they're like what everybody wants to beat, obviously, you know, like, and they play a fun style, you know, like we am kind of, we're trying to emulate their style uh, of up-tempo, you know, steals and fast break points. And, um, you know, you mentioned you want to see your team uh, protect the ball a little bit better. Um, you know, what other things, if anything, do you think the team needs to do uh, differently in the second half just to get on a roll and pull off the win? I think we can take better shots. I think, um, you know, we forced a couple of bad threes, contested threes, um, make, some, make our free throws, and, and again, limit turnovers, limit turn turnovers. That's, how, that's the key. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Good luck in the second half. All right, thank you. Back to you. Thanks very much, Leverett. And as we mentioned pregame, especially you, Alan, you mentioned Tech Boston creates a lot of turnovers. We saw that in the first half, that there were times the Latin Academy was trying to keep up with the pace with Tech Boston, and they got a little too far ahead of themselves. Well, but it's nice to hear uh, Coach Munker say he actually wants his team to emulate this, that Tech Boston style. Right. And he really does in a different, I, I guess, a, a different form. He, he can do it. He has longer guys, young young players who can get up and down the floor. Tech Boston just has a, has a bunch of uh, smaller players who are really quick and fast. That's right. And so they're, and they've been together for a couple of years. They, they're used to doing it. That's, that's just part of the program. As if, you, if you go to Tech Boston as an athlete, that's the expectation uh, to earn your playing time. You've got to be a defensive person first, run the floor, always hustle, always right. go out to loose balls, and be ready for an open pass whenever you're running the floor. So I think the second half will be interesting because there was a little bit of a lull in that second quarter where it seemed to me Tech Boston, uh, they just kept going, kept going, kept going, and went up to like an eight-point lead at That's one right. point. Right. That's right. Latin Academy was able to cut into it a little bit, but the Bears still with that three-point lead here at the half from Latin Academy High School in Dorchester. Folks, we're going to head to break. When we come back, we'll have the start of the third quarter here on Game of the Week. We'll be right back after these words. Don't go away. When I never graduated from high school, I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished. It made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, your plumber, breathe right into your foot, your plumber's masseuse, yes. you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. 
Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe, you ready? Monroe! Here we go, the butterfly. Ready? I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 30 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzz warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Because of you, I feel wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Throw that ball, Diane. Woo! You got this! Touchdown! Oh, wow. Did you see that? Whoa, 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 we scored? Yeah, we scored. We're going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. Okay, filters. you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin!
Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester. We're at the half here on Game of the Week as the Tech Boston Bears lead the Latin Academy Dragons 29-26. Just a couple of halftime stats for you folks. First for the Latin Academy, six points for Muhammad Ali. Benny Martinez with two assists. Mason Lawson with three assists. Osasu Wagarin with Stop 12 right points. There. I'll tell you, we talked about his 17 and 16 right. game. He's well on his way with He's that. He's more than halfway there. 12 <laughs> points, nine rebounds for him. Shapiro with four rebounds. Meanwhile, for Tech Boss and Shamar Browder, as always, filling up the stat sheet. Eight points, two rebounds, three assists. We also got Chris Norman with seven rebounds and two assists. And Andy Mendez with five points for the Tech Boston Bears. You mentioned Will Garen. We got some highlights of him from the first half. Wow. He's been very effective. He's been everywhere, too. You like the way he's on, on both backboards. That, that's an offensive rebound put back. Here's another one. Uses, uses that length. I like how he keeps the ball up high. And that doesn't bring it down to the defenders. And the energy he's had. He's been running baseline to baseline. That's the toughest thing to do for a big man, especially a young kid. He's only a sophomore. That's he's, right. He's, he's just still sort of growing into his body. No question. So he's having a nice impact. I really like that play, that last one. He cut into the little bit of an opening in the lane to take that inbound pass for the putback. Meanwhile, it's been a very impressive first half for Latin Academy, especially with the bigs like Will Guerin and Ali. But Tech Boston's got a three-point lead. Because they, they have that style, run, run. Swipe at the ball, poke, poke, steal, you know, and everybody looks for a layup. That's 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 how they played for the last three years, very successfully. They're going to do more of the same here in the second half. No question. Their offense has always been jump started by their defense, and it all starts with Browder and Nunez up front. I think I think just both both coaches, especially Coach Williams for Tech Boston, probably just a little concerned with. In fact, when they did run their half cut offense, they got the open shots they wanted, just didn't get the good percentage they used to. Academy starts with the basketball here in the third quarter. Stuppert on the drive gets swatted away by Norman. Williams corner jumper. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That, that time Alan Nunez waited for his teammate to get to the spot that he knows his teammate wants. Held the ball by the time he got it to him. Perfect shot. When we talk about a, a, a fast-paced team, it doesn't mean that they, they, they can't slow down and be deliberate. It's just that they, they're smart enough to know when they need to and when they need to pick up the pace. Lawson from the elbow. Okay. That, that's going to help him. He had a few assists in the first half, and he's, he's sort of a combo-type guy. He, with that length of his, he can be a scorer and a, a distributor. Nunez. Somehow got inside the lane, but couldn't finish. Well, Garen with an errant pass there as Norman comes back with it for Tech Boston. He's going to get two free throws. A good job. Twisting his body to create a shot. Talking to Norman's father before the game, he's talking about how the possibility of him uh, going to a prep school. That's, that's uh, it's one of those things where it's interesting because he's a big man here <laughs> in the city, but if he were to go uh, to a, a higher level, right. he'd be a guard. No question. And he, and he definitely does have uh, ball handling skills. Uh, he's, he's, he's been working on his outside shot. Frustrating first half. He just couldn't get any shots to drop. But uh, he, he's um, prospectively, I mean, obviously he's got to grow a little more, get a little stronger. Uh, good chance to uh, really do well. And Norman plays more like a perimeter player, even though oh, he's one of the yeah. taller players for Tech Boston. Well, he's one of the better rebounders because he, he knows how to rebound. He boxes out very well. And for this particular team, you're right. He's, he's one of the taller kids. Looks like a foul there on Tech Boston. I didn't quite catch the number. Yeah, a little, a little bit of a pile up at the top of the key. Five point lead for the Bears. It's a half-court trap. They're trying to get the ball out, keep the ball out of Lawson's hand. Lawson has it now to set up, but Tech Boston's just trying to get the ball to somebody else with a you know, double team. Lawson pulls up from three, well short that time. Well, Tech Boston just did not allow anybody else to get open for a pass from Lawson. It's going to be a bumping foul on Santos. Hey, 
we've seen, we talked a lot about Browder, but Alan, uh, Alan Nunez, or especially last season, has really been a huge part of Tech Boston's team as well. And since his freshman season, I remember him on that team as a freshman when they made it to the yeah. city championship Coming and then lost the and, 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 and came off the bench plays. and hustle. just fearless. Yeah, right. The kids just feel it. He flies up and down the floor without any regard for no, his body no, no, and just well, <laughs> you know, it's a good dies for Because ball. the one thing we talk about that players developing and playing a little smarter, he still has that reckless abandon, but he uses his body much better. Well, Garen with another rebound for the Dragons as they trail by five. It was six minutes left to go in the third quarter. Now got 11 rebounds for Will Guerin. Santos inside to Will Guerin, couldn't hit the floater. Router gets that one to go. He is so quick like a inside drop. the lane. Like a cheer drop shot for him. Back to a seven point lead for Tech Boston. Uh, Browder, Browder a little bump there. Didn't have to because he, he actually had angled Santos off the play, but a little over anxious. Abdullahi Aiden coming back in for Latin Academy as Ali heads to the bench. Yeah, I think Danny Bunker wants to give Aiden a chance to have some instant offense. Aiden. Couldn't get off the three, now tries to squeeze it inside. Well, Guerin with another basket. He's got 14 points now for Latin Academy. Yeah, I like that he doesn't bring the ball down. That's the key. As a young player, it's really important. Norman guarded by Santos. Yeah, see, Norman, he knows how to use his body, draw fouls, draw contact. As he gets a little stronger with the upper body, he'll be able to actually create a, after the contact, still create a, a, a makeable shot. It's going to be called on the floor, so there'll be Tech Boston out of bounds. Nunez trying to feed it inside to Browder. Tech Boston hangs on to it. I think that's going to be a backcourt violation by the Bears. And yeah. Norman just lets it go out of bounds. Well, it'd be, yeah, yeah. Latin Academy will get under their own hoop. That's a sophomore mistake there. Yeah, exactly, because normally the coach wants you to pick it up anyway. Make, make the officials uh, call the, blow the whistle. You never can tell. You might have a, might get a break. Aiden finally yeah. knocks down one from deep. First time he really had a, a what he considers a wide open shot. Puts it back down to a two point lead. Nunez now firing from three. Can't get that to go. Williams can't come up with the rebound. Here comes Lawson. Tries to squeeze it in. Heck of a hustle. Hustle there by Barnes. Quickly up the floor. They try to go to Browder. He saves it to Williams. Back to Browder. In a blink of an eye, Tech Boston gets up the floor. Aiden looking for another three. Can't get it to go. Norman with the rebound for the Bears. Well, that's why Aiden's in the, in the game. He came in exactly for that reason. We saw him hustle to, the, to his shooting spot the first time, made that one. That time he was also getting there. Teammates look to find him. Dragons right now with a 5-0 run. That's gotten it back to a two-point game. Tech Boston now with the basketball midway through the third quarter. Norman inside to Browder. Got it poked away. Nunez looking for the save. Williams now going to reset. Browder. Can't get the pull-up jumper to go. Rebound for Lawson. Quickly up to Aiden. Who finishes on the other side. Good job. Switch hands to get away from that tall defender. Good job. Ties it up at 35. Here with 335 left to go in the third. Aiden now with five points for Latin Academy. Nunez. We're going to call a jump ball yeah, inside. Good defense that time. It's going to stay with Tech Boston. A little more size now for Latin Academy. Shapiro comes back in with a trading size for size as well. Darren heads to the bench. Back up for me. 
Crowder trying to create an opening. Hook Hits shot. the hook shot. <laughs> a left-handed hook in the lane. <laughs> That's old-time so basketball then. So many ways to finish around the rim for Shamar Browder. Lawson can't finish off the window. Gorman has the trailer, couldn't get it to go. Shapiro up to Martinez. They're going to get Stroud for the foul. Yeah, take Boston just tries to take away every passing lane. Barnes back in for the Bears as Stroud heads to the bench. Yeah, that's the last sub just to give uh, McGarren a couple of, couple of minutes to catch his breath. Like we said, he's been running up and he's running baseline to baseline the whole game. Feed it inside to Lawson. He now pulls it back out for Latin Academy. Lawson kicks it to the corner. Santos short with the three. Lawson comes away with the rebound. Gets it stolen away by Nunez. Nunez behind the back to Williams inside to Browder. Tell you, three on two break, they find the shot. Martinez well short on that three. Here comes Browder back out on the break. Couldn't quite handle it. That's going to go he back was, to Latin Academy. I think he was trying to decide what he was going to do because there were two defenders hustling back into the lane. That's right. So Browder, I think, took his eye off the ball just to figure out, can I split them? Can I pull up? What am I going to do? Meanwhile, the ball's going out of bounds. Latin Academy calls a timeout. Just over two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Here's another look at that behind the back pass from Nunez. Yeah, still a tough finish for Browder. But he's used to those kind of shots. Really nice game. Friday night, it's <laughs> huge crowd. And then again, okay, with all the success that Tech Boston's had, not surprised at all that they're, they're going to travel. <laughs> right. That's right. And fortunately, uh, Latin Academy in the city of Boston is one of the gyms that has decent stands, decent right. enough to, to handle uh, a nice, nice sized crowd. So yeah, if we were at Tech Boston, just, people would be hanging from the rafters. Oh, well, <laughs> doors would be open. <laughs> They have the big fans going on, yeah, people sitting, back sitting on shoulders and everything. Right. <laughs> the Latin Academy usually has a good home crowd anyway. Then you mentioned Tech Boston coming in, big rival. You mentioned Tech Boston success. You oh, mentioned yeah. Latin Academy success to start the season. Everybody's excited about these two teams. And it's a Friday night, so it's, it's easy to uh, just decide, well, I can you know, put my homework away for the weekend and then <laughs> come enjoy a game. Ali trying to go baseline. Yeah, that's and that was all his length. That's all his length because the defender was there, but because he had those that long arm to get right to the backboard, nothing he could do defensively. He's really, he's really, a, he's, he's shopping his skills from last season. Norman, pretty drive by Chris Norman. Both teams now challenging defensively and not afraid to get into the lane. Six points for Norman to go along with his nine rebounds. Aiden firing another three off the back iron. Martinez, offensive rebound. Aiden gets stuffed inside by Butler. The defense on the baseline took away the drive and then was able to steal the ball. Yeah, but a little too much playing with the ball that time had taken away. Too bad for him, it's right in front of Coach Williams, too. <laughs> you make a mistake like that, you don't want to have it happen right in front of the no, coach. No, no. <laughs> Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Four-point lead for the Tech Boston Bears. Aiden. Trying to get inside, and he hits it off the window. He's not just an outside shooter. Has little tricky moves to the basket. Yeah, he's really developed that part of his game over the offseason. Seven in the quarter now for Abdullahi Aiden. Cuts it down to a two-point lead. That's what he's there for. Butler can't hit the three. Ali with the rebound. Dragons will try to play for the final shot of the quarter. Ali's Ali. not. <laughs> Ali's not. <laughs> <laughs> Bears now try to get one off quick. Nunez inside to Norman. 
it doesn't go down for him. Ball bounces around, now it's Lawson with one second left. And after three here at Latin Academy, two point lead for the Tech Boston Bears. This has been a good one as we expected and fourth quarter is gonna be a great one, folks. Make sure you stick around. Tech Boston, Latin Academy, Dorchester rivals going at it here on Friday night. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for Game of the Week. Tech Boston on top of Latin Academy 4139. Our sideline reporter, Levert Ball, is going to update for us. Lev, what do you have? Thanks, guys. So during the last time out, Coach Bunker was repeatedly telling his Latin Academy team that they need to protect the ball better. Now, as you may remember, he talked about that a little bit during our halftime interview, saying the team needed to do a better job not turning the ball over. He was also telling them the same thing in a timeout earlier in the game as well. He continues to stress that. And this Tech Boston team is very effective stealing balls. They have a lot of very quick guards. And Latin Academy is going to continue to have to be careful with the basketball. Back to you. Thanks very much, Lev. So Latin Academy trying to take care of the basketball, but they got a little luck there for, with Lawson hitting the banker to tie it up at 41. Well, he can try and make that one-on-one -on -one move against a smaller defender, and that time, like you said, he got a little bit of luck with the backboard. Nemo suffered in there now with a Band-Aid on his face. Not sure if he got scratched. Yeah, he got scratched when the last time he came out. Three-pointer no good that time from Barnes. That goes out of bounds Lat back to Latin Academy. In the first matchup between these two teams, Mason Lawson, the point guard for Latin Academy, actually got in foul trouble early and it kind of sort of put Latin Academy behind mm -hmm. the eight ball. Well, you can see because of his height and his ability to, to handle the ball, they, they, they depend on him a lot to set up the half court offense. Stufford no good on the shot. Well, Garen couldn't get the put back. Barnes inside the paint couldn't convert. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. You see Lawson's are trying to direct traffic. See, with the small defender, he can he can make it passes and create shots for himself. Back door for Aiden. He can't hit it off the glass. Put back from Will Garrett. Guess who? <laughs> the big sophomore. 16 points now for the big fella. Get that kind of length and you can hang around the basket. Some good things are going to happen. 13 boards also for Will Guerin as Browder comes back. Mm. Couldn't quite finish it. Go, go, go. Had to put a little more on that because Will Guerin was trying to challenge with a block. Just saw it spin out. This is actually a better matchup to have Browder on, on Lawson. Lawson can't hit the runner. Quickly up to Barnes, does Tech Boston go? And they finish. tie it up at 43. Yeah. They all let, know how to finish once they get out front. Quick time off for Tech Boston. Well, yeah, a couple of things. Coach Williams wants to give his starters a rest. He also has probably seen something he wants to do differently in the half court because Lawson has been able to sort of control things for, for Latin Academy, getting their, their shots in the half court set. Folks, next week we got a girls game. We're going to be right back here, though. Latin Academy High. It's the O'Brien Tigers taking on the Latin Academy Dragons. That's next Friday night, January 31st at 6 p.m. If you want to watch that game live, you can go to Boston City TV. Watch, watch it on Xfinity Channel 24, RCN Channel 13, and Verizon Files Channel 1962. O'Brien and Latin Academy having a pretty good season so far on the girls' side, so that one should also be a close one. As they played earlier in the season, I think Latin Academy won by just a couple of points as well. Well, you know, we're only like closing on the end of January, so city, what, the city championships are about, about a month, month away. About a month away. A little bit less yeah, than a month. So teams are trying to sort of gear themselves up for some, for some possible extra games. The city, again, with that 
city playoff format where six teams make it into the city playoffs. The top two teams get a bye, and then the other four play a first round matchup. And then it goes to semifinals, right? That's right. Lawson, top of the key. Nunez somehow gets that one to go. He got tripped up inside the paint. Yeah, he's off balance, but still is able to spin it up. Almost stolen away. Now it's Ali. Stuffer. Oh, travel, too bad. He had the he had the head and shoulders fake, but just didn't put the ball down. He had the defender was set up. He put the head the nice fake, but got to put the ball down right away. Just under five minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter now. Tech Boston with a two-point lead over Latin Academy. Well, the first game was, what, 53-50. So they're just, just about the same pace. Again, Vance. that Browder? Wow. Shamar Browder <laughs> with another <laughs> fancy finish. So many, I mean, basically it's like a half hook once he gets in the air. Santos on the drive. He's going to get two free throws. Yeah. Latin Academy's got to find a, an answer defensively for Browder, whether they want to double him to take the ball out of his hands. Uh, something's had to happen because he's sort of having his way now once he gets in the lane. Chris Norman committing the foul on that one. Santos hits the first. Martinez coming back in for Latin Academy, giving Stuffer a break. Santos misses the second. Three point lead for Tech Boston. Norman again towards the paint, lost it on the way up. Yeah, I tried to do a little too much that time. Aiden. Well, Garen short with the jumper. Williams off the feed from Browder. The way these guys can finish in the baseline, Pat, is amazing. Their practices must be like track meets. <laughs> well, you know what? It. The Globe did an article about Tech Boston after they won their second state championship, and Coach Williams talked about that, how intense their practices are. It's almost like the games are a little bit of a well, relief. Yeah, well, that you can tell because they're making some shots from some crazy angles. Mason Lawson couldn't hit the three. Offensive rebound. Well, Garen there to put it back up and in. Yeah, after Martinez made, yeah. got it. Exactly. Nunes uh, kept that play alive. Found the big fella. Back to a three-point game. Here with three and a half minutes left to go. Stroud to the corner. Williams can't hit it. Browder there for the putback. Yeah, Browder is just using his strength to get into the lane for offensive rebounds. Lawson all the way to the rim, and he's going to get two free throws. Yeah, this is the time you have to force the action. Again, good job. See, that, the length of Lawson allows him to fend off the, his first defender, and then as the help comes, that's where the foul is. Austin gets the first one to go. Substitution for Latin Academy. Ali coming back in. Well, Garen going to head to the bench. So Latin Academy won't be out long, small. though. He won't be out long at all. <laughs> Probably less than a minute of actual game time. Lawson can't hit the second. Rebound comes to Santos. Dragon's going to reset here as we approach three minutes left to go. Aiden on the runner. Nice Browder shot, comes away with the rebound. Norman to travel, inside. Yeah. yeah, I think he carried it two yeah. or three times. Yeah. Well, he had a nice spin move. Lost control of the ball, so that, that was actually okay. But once he got into the lane, when he lost it the second time, then he had to try the jump step. Yeah, three, three and a half steps, he used that whistle. <laughs> 
at least in high school basketball. The NBA, they probably fun let it to go. It was fun to watch. Depends who it, it is, was. right? Yeah. <laughs> it was fun to watch, though. This is this is the this is the difference in the half court set. Ali burying a three to cut it to a one point lead. I was just gonna say somebody from Latin Academy has to set up to give Lawson a target. You know Ali can shoot deep. He can definitely shoot deep. Nunez is right. Nunez, yeah, he'll, he's, he's going to get two free yeah, throws. That's a, that, that, they just know he's one of the seniors. They know that's what has to happen. You know, game is tight. You get okay. Well, it's a one-point game. Latin Academy's making a little comeback, so they're anxious, over anxious defensively. Let's go at them, make them foul us, and it's pretty soon we'll get. Into, matter of fact, next one they'll be in bonus. This one's just going to be an imbalance in the baseline, but. Tech Boston now going to head back to the free throw line as yeah, Norman Trey, was fouled yeah. underneath. Trey Norman that time did a good job. He was able to create some space for himself. Norman four for four from the free throw line so far tonight. He does not hit the first. Watch, he's able to edge it out to hit twice, actually. Gets the second to go. So back to a two-point lead for Tech Boston. Two minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Watch Ali coming from the weak side. Coming to the wing for a shot again. Thank you. Aiden, top of the key, doesn't Ooh. fall for him. That it was halfway, halfway down. down. That's, that's, that was crazy. Bears now trying to extend their two-point lead here, coming up on a minute and a half left to go. That was actually a well-set-up play, too. I thought Ali was going to pop out. Instead, Aiden popped up. Router lost it inside the paint. Lost it out to Aiden. Inside to Santos, who couldn't finish it. Excellent pass by Aiden. Williams back down the other end. Stroud gets the reverse lane. Well, Darren checking back in the game here. Coming up on a minute left to go. Four point lead for Tech Boston. Aiden inside. Gets all the way to the rim. Cuts it back down to two. Loose ball. And Benny Martinez comes up with it. Gets a timeout for Latin Academy. Yeah, Latin Academy call timeout for us. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, Latin Academy call timeout. Okay. So you see Martinez coming up with the steal off the inbounds pass and gets the timeout. So Latin Academy now with the basketball. 52 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. The important thing Two is point lead get, for the Bears. They can get Will Guerin back in the game now. That's dead right. ball. So that's, that's, that's the best part of this dead ball. Now, you know, what's interesting, Pat, one of their best inbound plays is to have either Aiden or Ali pop out for a three-pointer. You don't need a three-pointer. You just need a, a, a regular hoop to tie the game. That's right. Less than a minute to go, so it's one of those things where as a, as a coach, all right, how much faith do I have in, in what? Because the other thing is obviously you can drive to the basket, look for a foul, and then you go to the free-throw line. So what are they really more, more confident in? That's sometimes, right. Sometimes high school coaches are more confident in the three-point shot. Sure, especially so, with how many players grow up shooting. There them. you go. Right. We'll see what Latin Academy does. So coming out of the timeout, Latin Academy. Two-point deficit. Aiden, corner three, buries it for a one-point lead for the Dragons. That's what we were just talking about, Pat. Nunez trying to go baseline, and that's going to stay with Tech Boston. It's going to be one and one. Should be, should be. Uh, oh, it was a foul. You're right. Yeah, foul on the baseline. Gets tripped. Oh, just a, that oh. was the sixth team foul Six. for Latin Academy. 
Nunez inside, can't convert. Tap in good from Stroud. Back to a one point lead for the Bears. On the one point seesaw now. Aiden gets swatted out of bounds by Norman. And that call the same play. Okay, now check Boston took a timeout defensively. Yeah, Coach Williams does not want to get burned by that exact same play. You had Aiden go to the opposite corner, and actually, Ali, I would, I would think that Ali would go to one corner and Aiden to the other, and then see what you have in the middle in terms of a drive to the basket. Because it's only a one-point game now. See, before it was a two-point game, they took the chance of making the three to put it on that one-point seesaw now. As we mentioned, both these teams coming in as the top two teams in the Boston North. Latin Academy with the one loss in the Boston North being the Tech Boston. The Bears, meanwhile, 4-0 in the Boston North. So if Latin Academy can pull off a win, then it's going to be a tight race to the finish to see who right. the top team in the Boston North like, is. Like a, tug the, of, like a tug of war. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> if Tech Boston wins, there's a good chance they'll hang on to that first right, place right. spot in the Boston North. They'll probably two, get a bye a in the first game, round. Give them a two-game lead, yeah. Out of the timeout. Ooh. Latin Academy, you can throw it in the backcourt. Ali gets it poked yeah, away. Good trip. They're going to call a foul. Yeah, he got tripped, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He definitely got tripped. What a helter-skelter play there is. Aiden forgot that you can throw right. it in the backcourt from an out-of-bounds play. He was lucky that he, like you're right, he, he saved it to Ali. Ali. That's, that should be the... 22.6 seconds left yeah. now for Ali as he heads to the free throw line, shooting a one and one. <laughs> Cannot hit the first. Goes out of bounds off of Tech Boston. So it'll stay with Latin Academy here with 22 seconds left. They're down by one. Coach Bunker's going to call a timeout. Yeah, that time, see, that time, Tech Boston had that that corner shot covered. They didn't, they didn't even allow the shooters to get get out there. Well, they Latin Academy early in the first half had an inbounds on, the, on their own baseline, and what they did, they actually had Will Guerin, Will Guerin actually flashed to the middle of the lane and got a little five foot shot. The way that Tech Boston's playing this by taking away the outside shooters, well, Darren might have that same opportunity to slide into the lane for, for a quick up and under. We'll see what the Dragons can draw up here. You can run a play where you can kind of work the clock for 20 minutes or you I don't can think maybe they want, try to get something I, off yeah, the inbound I, I, think, I think they want to get something out quick. I don't think they want to take the chance of of, uh, they, I, think, I think they really want to get something quick. 22 seconds left to go. They lob it in, and oh, it's wow. stolen away by Stroud, and Ooh. then Ali commits the foul. Yeah, he got, got a little panicked because he thought the five second uh, was running out, which it was. So, Actually, a good play by Ali. No, not much time off the clock as he commits the foul, so it'll be a one-on-one -on -one one situation one. for Jaquan Stroud. His team, the Tech Boston Bears, with a one-point lead here with 21 seconds left. Yes, Rod's one of the seniors on this team. Oh. Can't hit the first. Lawson comes away with it, but he gets it poked away. Tech Boston gets the loose ball. That's Shamar Browder, who's then fouled in the quarter. Again, hustle, 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 all the way to the end. I think, I think Brown's only been out of the game once uh, for Just a short break. Just late in the second quarter. Yeah, exactly, short break. And so you're, you're talking about going full bore the entire time. And this is, this is the fastest paced game I can remember in a long time. One-on-one -on -one situation again. Browder yeah. buries the first. Makes it a two-point game here with 18 seconds left to go. Browder now at 19 points to lead the Bears. Can't hit the second. 
Latin Academy with a chance to tie or take the lead. Lawson gets fouled on his way to the rim. He's going to get two free throws. Or I'm shoot, excuse me, he'll be shooting a one-on-one for Latin Academy. Yep, still one-on-one, -on -one. you're right. Watch, goes to the basket. Actually, it was, uh, it was Trey Norman who the call for the foul. Lawson can't hit the first. Big time rebound inside from Stroud. And Jaquan's going to get a one and one on the other end. Wow, this is a perfect example of two good teams, a uh, tight game, and it always comes down to rebounds and free throws. Let's see what. Uh, Substitution for Latin Academy. Ali heads to the bench. That he might have been his out. fourth. Oh, he did fall off. He fouled out. But Benny Martinez in there now for Latin Academy. Stroud hits the first. Yeah, big, big time. Big, big, that's a big one. That's a, that gives you a three point lead. Now, if you hit this one, this one's a little bit easier to shoot yeah. now, too, because you got the first. He can extend it to a two-possession game on this free throw. Can't get it to go. Yeah, went over the line. Went over the line first. And there's yeah. a lane violation on yeah. Tech Boston. That was on Stroud. Yeah, he knew it was going to be short, so he tried to get in there for the offensive rebound, but he left too soon. 12 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter, so it's a three-point lead no, it's just, for it's Tech just a ball. It's just an inbound from the baseline. Yeah. I think one of the refs thought it was a it was a foul on Tech Boston. No, just a violation. So, so just a so violation. Ball, so obviously you're going to have Lawson. I think uh, Bunker is going to want to. So Twelve seconds left. Latin Academy is going to have to draw up a full court play to try to get a three. Yeah, exactly. Here with yeah. 12 seconds left. Yeah, but most importantly, after they make the three, they got a foul right away. And, the, and the, one of the tough things about this Tech Boston team, all those kids are so quick. That's right. That they can avoid a, 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 an intentional foul. Or Tech Boston could just try to get a long pass and, and get a quick two, try That's to right. get a layup, and then, again, you got to chase and foul. Well, we'll see what Latin Academy does here. Well, you got Aiden, so I think, I think he probably... Have him come off a pick or something. Yeah, give him a shot. Right. Give him a chance for a three-pointer. Meanwhile, Tech Boston's got to be looking for number two as soon as they come out oh, of that definitely. timeout. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We saw Ali hit a three earlier, but we believe he fouled out. Yeah, he must have. It doesn't look, doesn't look like he's coming back in the game. So Aiden could knock down a three. Mason Lawson has the ability to hit threes. We haven't seen him do it yet. So does Santos and Martinez. But Aiden would be the guy. So they have, yeah, so you're, you're right. They have like three guys who could, they can actually go to. Aiden's actually going to inbound it for Latin Academy. But what he'll do, he'll sprint. Once he inbounds, he's going to, he'll sprint down court. But he actually he probably has the, 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 the longest range of the shooters. Off the inbound, it's Lawson with the basketball. Ten seconds left to go. Lawson. Yeah, shoot. Doesn't have a lot of time. Four seconds. Lawson fires it up. Buries it for Latin Academy. Ties it up at 58 apiece. We might have a technical foul here, Pat. We might have a check here because the Latin Academy kids understandably are excited, but... It's a tie they game. All, they all ran off the, off the bench. It's a tie game. They didn't win the game. Yeah. And there's five seconds left. Well, you got, Unbelievable. you got a lot of things going on. You actually have Latin Academy complaining about a foul. Now, Wash, he makes Oh, the, he got yeah, undercut. Yeah, he got undercut by Browder. He makes the shot. So that's what Danny Bunker is talking to one official about. The two officials also talked about, about the Tech, the, the Latin Academy players running onto the floor, which normally is a technical foul. But given, 
I mean, given how this game has been back and forth so much, that it, it should be tough to call a check. I just, we'll see how they it, there was we'll such a rush. It out. There's right. such a rush of players and well, that's, fans that come see, on the that's, floor. That's, that's, the, that's the point. You, you, just, you don't know. It's sometimes you just don't know. But you called it, Pat. He did get undercut. That that's definitely should have been a foul call. I'm sure Johnny Williams is yeah. saying that they went on the floor. Oh, that he, should he be definitely is. He definitely is. I mean, that's, that's and then, what And then you got Danny Bunker do. saying, well, but listen, my kid got undercut yeah, on the right, shot. Right. <laughs> And I think Bunker's also saying, you know, you can't give us a tech for the fans coming right, on the floor because right. you don't know which fans actually came on the floor. So they're trying to get a couple of veteran officials, trying to work it That's out. That's right. I mean, basically, it, it, even though like, we have the benefit of replay and, you know, can see a, a, a possible foul call. Coach Bunker doesn't yeah, look happy. Exact, I think they're going to get yeah. a tech. I think Latin Academy is going to be called for a technical foul. It's, got, it's definitely for the players going on the floor. There's no way you can. There's no way you can judge that which fans came on the floor. So, Coach Bunker coaching up his guys, saying we got to play through this. They got to reset the clock as well. There was five seconds left. Not sure if that. Now they have it at four seconds. Okay, four seconds. Which makes sense. So we get tied up. So we got a two shot technical foul. No, it's it's overtime. Mm -hmm. no, they're shooting the tech. They're gonna shoot two techs, but I yeah. Norman Trey. Over here, <clears throat> as we mentioned, one of the underclassmen, but clearly. One of their best players. Knocks down both. So it's both. a two-point lead for Tech Boston. They have four minutes on the clock. No, it should be four. Should be four. I, I, I think. I think. I think it's overtime. Oh, they're, okay. They're, so they're, they're I saying, think the shot was the made clock at the buzzer. Out. Okay. All right. The shot well, you're was right. made at the buzzer, you're so right, it's overtime. It's running down. So two-point lead now for Tech Boston. That's overtime. Four minutes overtime stops. That's actually a, a good way to. <laughs> figure out that last 12 seconds. Scramble for the loose ball. Here comes Lawson now for Latin Academy. They're down by two. Lawson all the way to the rim. That was an angry drive by Lawson. Well, I'd say he's got five points in the last 20 seconds. That big three to tie it up. And now that, like you said, that strong drive to the basket. Norman. Off the feed, gets fouled, and he's going to head to the charity strike. I see a couple of the key players for Latin Academy might be in some foul trouble here, so we got to keep an eye on that. That's three. That's three on on Wagarin. Yeah, he went up too soon. Norman hits the first. Did more people come into this gym before overtime started? No, everybody, everybody, like everybody's standing up. That big difference. <laughs> <laughs> Norman knocks down the second. Oh. Tech Boston now 10 for 12 from the free throw line. I'm sorry, Chris Norman 10 for 12 from the line. Lawson buries another three. That's a two. He gave him a two on and that he one. He stepped on the yeah. free throw line. We're tied up at 62. Norman coming back down the other yeah. end. They're going to yeah. get Lawson see, with the foul. See, Norman's forcing the action now. He, Norman, smart play. I mean, he did, you know, he, he sees the game tied up, but he's making his free throws. What do you say? He made, he's, making, he's made 10 already. Watch him. Strong to the basket. Forces the, the contact from Lawson. Oh yeah, he got he got a stroke going now. I mean, it's, uh, it's he's 11 for very, 13. Very, very comfortable now. Knocks down the second. Back to a two-point lead here for Latin Academy or for Tech Boston. Excuse me, just under three minutes left to go in overtime. Lawson, Aiden from deep off the back iron. 
Stroud tapping it around. They're going to go back to Tech Boston. Looks like both players got their hands on the ball there. Corner three from Stroud, and Whoa. he carries it for talk the Bears. About, talk about a big shot, Pat. Five-point lead now for Tech Boston. 11 points now for Stroud. See, that's the confidence of, a, of players who have state championships. Well, Garen couldn't finish it off the roll, and he's going to get two free throws. Nice play, though. I mean, you got to like the uh, – we've been talking about the sophomore all, all game. You can look at him, you can tell he's dead tired because if he's been late, he's run the, the length of the floor. He's got a catch, good time to catch his breath. Oh, boy, 18 points and 17 rebounds. Barry's the first. And a lot of activity defensively, a lot. So, obviously huge free throws. Can't hit the second. Aiden for the offensive rebound. Browder there to try to swipe it away. We get a jump ball. And Tech Boston started the overtime period with it. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be Latin Academy ball. They're going to that baseline three-point shot. Yeah, looked the wrong way. He <laughs> looked, looked the wrong way. <laughs> Mason was he looking at his chops in the yeah, corner. He had lost him wide open here. That somehow Tech Boston lost him. Aiden, corner three, short with that one, gets his own rebound up to Santos. Tapped around, Aiden trying to save it. And yeah. it's gonna go back to Tech Boston, yeah, Aiden, could've let Aiden, it go. Aiden didn't realize that, that uh, Tech Boston had hit it. He was just trying to save it. So still a four point lead here for Tech Boston with just over two minutes left in overtime. Bears in no hurry for the first time probably all game. Well, exactly. Yes. Now the shot clock has become an issue. Browder yeah, with Browder, a wow. big shot from the top of the key. Whatever you need, he'll figure out a way to do it. Browder now with 21 points to lead all scorers. They said a pickup top. There you go. Lawson. He'll get two free throws. They're going to call it on the floor, but he's going to get two free throws anyway because Latin Academy's in the double bonus. Yeah, both teams in double bonus now, so two free throws for every, every foul the rest of the way. Yeah, we got a foul. Team, team. It looks like Norman fouled out. Wow. I did see his fouls piling up. Didn't know yeah. he had four before yeah. that one. So big loss there for Tech Boston for these last this last minute and a half of overtime. Lawson cannot hit the first free throw, but it's a double Two bonus. Shots. He'll get one yeah. more. Two shots. Chris Norman leaves the game with 15 points and 14 boards. Lawson can't hit the second. Ball's tapped around. Lawson trying to save it, and Coach Bunker calls a timeout here with a minute 20 left to go in overtime. Hey, Lawson, tough break, missing, missing both free throws, but did hustle back into the play to get possession, allowing his coach to call a timeout. So 121 left to go. Or 120, rather, here left to go in overtime. A Four-point lead, excuse me, make that a six-point lead for Tech Boston. So Dragons got a lot of work to do. Yeah, Latin Academy has the ball. They, time well they, they have that, that uh, inbound play where they have the two players, <clears throat> you know, just wing out to the to the baseline. Right. Three-pointer, it's, it's, it's been open. It was definitely open last time, but it it's, um, just didn't get executed well. We've seen Aiden hit one. We saw... Boy, Lawson hit two. Check Boston, he's got to watch the, defensively he has to watch those corners. They get it in 
to Lawson. Mason from the elbow, buries the jumper. Cuts it back down to a four point game. Minute 10 left to go in overtime. Okay, now you just want to play defense without fouling. And they get the steal. steal. Lawson to Aiden, easy layup. Two point ball game. Under a minute to go now. Yeah, Browder should have the ball. Browder gets it poked away. Up to Martinez, ties it up at 69 apiece, just like that. Here comes Browder, open floor, gets it deflected inside by Wolgarin. Dragons with a chance to go ahead, Aiden on the other end. Latin Academy with a two point lead, and now they call a foul on Tiano Santu. Yeah, going to the going to the line will be Elliot Williams. What's that? An eight-point run? Yeah, eight-point run. Great, Aiden. Aiden's just a scorer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got you know didn't say a word to the ref. He took took the bump because he knew he was going to bank it. Williams now at the free throw line with his team down by two. Cannot hit the first. 25 seconds left to go. So now after this, after this free throw, make it or miss it, Latin Academy is going to get fouled. So there's less than the shot clock left in the game. You've got 25 seconds left. So you go for the steal. If you don't get it, you got a foul. Martinez up to Wolgarin. Underneath, can't get the layup, put back. No good from Wolgarin. Here comes Tech Boston. Browder slipped. And now the Bears have to commit a foul at half court. Yeah. Yeah, Browder saw his teammate, but like you said, he slipped as he was throwing the pass. It never got there. So Aiden will get two shots. Abdullahi Aiden now at the free throw line for Latin Academy, his team with a one point lead. I mean, that, that, eight, that eight old run was just amazing by Latin Academy. It happened in a Un, flash. I tell you, uncharacteristic uh, mental mistakes by the Tech Boston team. Aiden gets the first. Makes it now, a two-point yeah. game. Now this is big because this is going to either force Tech Boston to shoot a three or allow them to just go for a regular two if he misses it. Doesn't hit the second for a two-point lead. Eight seconds left. And Nunez calls a timeout for Tech Boston here with 7.3 left on mm, the clock. Yeah, plenty of time. Two-point lead now for Latin Academy. Now, now that Norman's fouled out, you can't go to him. I think normally they go to him on the baseline. But you got Browder, who can attack from either wing. You got a few options there for Tech Boston. Oh, Boy, definitely. Yeah. What a game here tonight at Latin Academy. There's everything you could want in a game like this has happened. Uh, you gotta love the way they stayed in it mentally, even though they were down six. That's right. They stayed into in it mentally, and they were able to miss some free throws. They were able to get a couple of steals. They made the big three. Obviously, that was, you know, Huge. <laughs> as big as any other shot. But they they actually forced some uncharacteristic mental mistakes from Tech Boston on the inbound. Tech Boston lost two inbounds in that series. Last 47 seconds, it's been a nine to one run for Latin Academy. Tech Boston now at the free throw line. Or, I'm sorry, off inbounds. the, off the yeah. inbounds, inbounds off the timeout. Trailing by two, seven seconds left on the clock. Williams trying to get inside the paint. Corner three is short for Stroud. Latin Academy hangs on and the Dragons come away with a win over Tech Boston here in overtime. Oh, an amazing game, amazing game. Boy, one of the best games we've had on Game of the Week in the regular season, at least, in a long time. You're right. It actually did seem like a playoff game, didn't it? Right. <laughs> Some time turn the game. Atmosphere. Right. Unreal. All the way from the, from the opening tap. 
Heck of a game here from both teams. Latin Academy survives in overtime to defeat Tech Boston. 72 to 70, and what a game here at Latin Academy High School. We knew coming in this was going to be a great one. Oh, it definitely. was everything and more. Oh. And we saw a lot of crazy things happen, but a lot of great basketball as well. Oh, well, the, the key is the pace of the game was um, unbelievable. Right. And so for the players who actually were out there for most of that 32 minutes, I mean, they've got to, they were dead tied in the, in, the, in the fourth quarter, never mind the four-minute overtime. Right. You know, we had that little crazy scrum at the end there when uh, Lawson's big three-pointer tied the game up and people were on the, on the court, the officials trying to sort it out. Uh, they missed what could have been a possible foul on that three-point uh, shot. They, they could have actually given Latin Academy a chance to take a lead. But That's instead, right. uh, it, it ended up working out that uh, because of all that confusion, clock ran out, went to overtime. Uh, Tech did get the two free throws for the, for the technical foul, but I'm saying give Latin Academy a lot of credit because when they were down six, they were down, they were 69-63. That's right. They came down, hit a big shot, got a steal, hit a layup. Force another steal, got a layup. They, had, they ended up with a 9 1 run That's in right. like 40 seconds. Yeah. And so they, and that, and the Tech Boston team is just not used to having that happen to them. They're That's very right. uncharacteristic. No question. So, <coughs> heck of a job here tonight from both teams. Fan, fantastic game here on Game of the Week at Latin Academy High School. Folks, we can head to break. When we come back, we'll probably have our final stats and our game winning coach and our MVP of tonight's game right after these words. Don't go away. When I never graduated from high school, I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished, it made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, your plumber, breathe right into your foot, your plumber's masseuse, yes. you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe, you ready? Monroe! 
Here we go, the butterfly. Ready? I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester at the conclusion of Game of the Week. The Latin Academy Dragons defeat the Tech Boston Bears 72 to 70 in a thrilling overtime win. <laughs> There's so many guys that you could credit to this win here for Latin Academy. I mean, you had Mason Lawson hit that monster three at the buzzer to send it into overtime. You had Osasu Wolgarin, the young sophomore, big double who double had a again, huge double double yeah. again. But Abdullahi Aiden, he'd struggled in the first half. They couldn't get him a lot of shots. Struggle, second didn't half. score. <laughs> he didn't score at all, exactly. Yeah. Second half so, comes out, so, scores 17 well, in the second half. And that's that, exactly. And that, that's it, the, the, what's key to me is that uh, once he hits the floor, and I think right. you mentioned during the, the, the Rockets, once Aiden hits the floor, all of a sudden the antennas go up defensively for Tech Boston. So he was getting covered well. He did a good job of freeing himself with some big shots, made a huge three, made a couple of layups in that 9-1 to one run in That's overtime. Right. So uh, it, it's unusual to see a player who only scores in one half That's to right. be an outstanding player. But in this case, uh, this is the exception to the rule. No question. Monster game for Aiden, especially in the second half. He and Coach Bunker are with our sideline reporter, Leverett Ball. Leverett, take it away. Thanks, guys. So first off, Abdullahi, you are MVP. You had 17 points. Um, you played especially well down the stretch. First off, uh, how were you able to get into such a rhythm offensively in the second half? This is my teammates helped me, set me up, set me up to um, score. And my coaches, they set plays, they help us out in whatever we need. And, I mean, what a game. Um, you're able to end up getting the win in overtime. Um, you hit that buzzer beater at the end there to send it into overtime. I mean, how exciting is it for your team to be able to pull off a win in this type of situation? Uh, it's ex very exciting since, like, for the past couple of years, we haven't been able to get to the States. And this year, we're in the States, and, like, we're trying to do bigger things this year. So with the help of all of our teammates, we can, like, achieve what we want. And, you know, I was talking with some of my coworkers earlier. This is one of the, the biggest crowds we've seen at a, at a high school game in quite a while. I mean, what was the atmosphere like? I mean, everyone was going crazy, cheering you on. Um, you know, how much fun was it to play in that type of environment? It's fun, but I'm pretty used to this because our crowds are like really big a lot. And yeah, our, team, our, our friends like to support us a lot. Well, once again, great job tonight. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, so coach, I had a chance to talk to you at halftime. Um, you said there were a couple adjustments you wanted the team to make, but you guys were able to pull, pull it off in the end. Um, you know, how proud are you of your team? Uh, I couldn't be prouder. Uh, you know, I told the guys before the game, this is kind of it's like a memory bank game. Uh, meaning, like, a lot of these guys, we played Tech Boston two years ago, and these guys were ninth and eighth, eighth and ninth graders, lost by 50 points on their home court. Same group of kids, uh, didn't give up on me, uh, came back, you know, and they're two years older, beating a, a good Tech Boston team, so it couldn't be happy. And, you know, as I mentioned a second ago, um, you know, you're barely able to send the game into overtime, and then in overtime you're trailing to start. Um, how did the team just maintain its composure? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. You know, we got to battle through adversity. You know, we're not going to get every call. You know, we get, can't dwell on it. Um, we just got to, uh, you know, fight through. And uh, we did a good job of that. Well, and, and like I asked Abdullahi also, I mean, how much fun is it, um, you know, in his case to play, but for you to coach in this type of environment and see the type of school spirit and support for the team? Oh, it's awesome. But you know what? You know what's even funner is practice. Uh, these guys, um, really really work hard in practice they challenge each other they compete against each other and we do that so we can play in, in in games like this you know like i tell them all the time you know once you get old like me and you're playing in men's leagues you know nobody's here watching the game so take advantage of this when you're high school you only get one shot at it uh, you know when you're playing men's leagues nobody's showing up to your game maybe a girlfriend but that's that's it and uh well th coach thank you so much for your time i mean what a game uh one of the most fun games i've seen in a while uh, but congrats on the win Thank you. Back to you, Pat. Lever, thanks very much. 
I mean, Coach Bunker obviously thrilled with what just happened. I'm sure it shocked him. I mean, right. he's looking at the scoreboard, but down six, their ball, you know, what can we do? And all of a sudden, boom, right. boom, a couple of shots, a couple of steals, layups. So it's it's uh, high school basketball. And I, mean, I, think, I think coaching, like you said, he's been around for a while. Both coaches have been around, vet veteran high school coaches. They know it can flip in a second. It's just uh, it, it's, it, it's sort of out of character to see Tech Boston uh, right. help the process. You know, when they're up six with less than a minute to go, usually that's a wrap. Right. You know, they have the, the, the seniors, like you mentioned earlier. Uh, Broad has been, a, he's been a starter for three, three straight years and one of their senior leaders. So, you know, usually you go to him. It did hurt a lot to have Trey Norman fall, fall out. That's I right. Mean, it, at the time, it didn't seem like a big deal because they were still up. But with, without him in there to rebound, to be one of the, help, the ball handlers on the help, I'm sure that created a couple of those turnovers that turned into layups uh, in that 9-1 right. to one run. So That's right. uh, one thing the agent said, which is interesting, you can tell the kids, are uh, they're watching the state tournament. He said, we're oh, already no in. Question. They're right. already in. Yeah, they got that, double digit wins. They now have 12 wins. Right. Okay, So they, they were in anyway before the game hit with 11. That's so right. it's, it's in their minds. And so yeah, exactly, that, that's, that's, that's what fuels them in practice. That's why when Bunker said, oh, practice is even more fun. Because they know they have a chance with the size they have, even though they're young, and the shooting they have, they can make some noise in the state tournament. No question. Yeah. They could make the city playoffs this year, too, with the way that they're playing. And these two teams are probably not going to move out of the top two spots in the Boston North. So these two will probably be in the city playoffs. And then we'll see who gets the one seed. Now there's a tied record in the right. city league. Right. I'm not sure exactly what the tiebreaker is. We'll probably have to find that out from Avery Esdale, the athletic director. But right now it's the, the top two of them. They could meet the city playoffs, too, I'm just gonna for the say, third time. Uh, yeah, regardless of, of how it's actually set up, they may actually bump heads and have a third like meeting like you said uh, in the in the city playoffs which is about a month a month away so it's it's, it's setting up a nice scenario uh, for both teams That's both, right. I mean coach Williams for Tech Boston has all the ammunition he needs now That's right. in terms of uh, practice they already practice hard but now sure. I'm sure that he and his coaching staff will concentrate on the, the sort of the mental part of the game That's right. keeping your composure you know, and one, one thing that, that, that was noticeable during that crazy run that happens, even when Latin Academy scored a hoop, okay, you had uh, Tech Boston trying to inbound, but they never ran the baseline. You know, they, they stayed in one spot, and then, they, you, you know, you can't see an open teammate, but you can move, you can run a baseline to get inbound the ball. They never did that, and again, I'm sure that's something they'll go over to remind the players, listen, in that situation, uh, you know, just, just remember everything you can do, you know, and, and we can survive something like that. But good lesson. Uh, that will be the fourth loss for um, Protect Boston, which they're obviously they're not used to. Right, three but, in a row now. Yeah, but, again, they have the seniors. Uh, sure. And they, they can rely on them. Uh, we'll, we'll see them in the cities, I'm sure. No question. Tech Boston, phenomenal game tonight from them despite the loss. They're going to be there in the end, as always. Folks, want to thank you very much for joining us here at Lat Academy High in Dorchester. If you want to watch this game again, I don't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> Go to our website, www.cityofboston.gov slash game of the week. All the games from this season are going to be up there. You can also go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash game of the week Boston. we got a lot of different videos and updates about what games we're going to be covering. We'll also have a link to this game in a couple of days as well. And finally, if you want to follow us on Twitter, go to at Boston City TV. And if you want to tweet at us, use the hashtag Boston G-O-W. The rest of the games this season got a lot to live up to, but we're going to be right back here at Latin Academy High next week for a girls game that should be a great matchup between the O'Brien Tigers and the Latin Academy Dragons. But for right now, we're going to say so long here from Latin Academy High in Dorchester here on Game of the Week. Have a good night, everybody.